Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today I'm here in a hot morning here in Sorrento, Italy and today I want to talk about some of the day trips you can do from Naples or you can do from here in Sorrento if you're going to be coming to the Sorrento Peninsula because there's a lot of great places you can visit while you're here and I just want to give you some of the highlights because I know some people they just go to Naples and they see the National Archaeological Museum, they see the castle there, they eat the fantastic food and then they're on their way but there's a lot of places you can visit if you're staying in Naples. Even if you're just there for a weekend you can get away to see a lot so I've got six little places you can go when you are visiting Naples to visit around this area and I think number one and probably the most famous place to visit is Pompeii. You know Pompeii, Mount Vesuvius that blew up and covered that town, that Roman city in ash and, and pyroclastic flow. Yeah, you can go there and see how they dug up an entire city. And we're talking street after street after street, an amphitheater, a, a forum to go see. Heck, there's even a brothel you could go see when you're there with the, the paintings on the wall explaining the different things that can happen there. There's so much to see and do and it's such a cultural experience. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site that you go and it can take you a whole day when you're there. It can take a half day when you're there, but that's one place you go when you're here and we have a whole video on the don'ts of Pompeii to help you out but honestly it is really great and, and don't forget some sun protection because there is no protection from the sun when you are there now that's about 40 minutes on the Circumvesuvia train line from Naples okay just to give you a heads up for that second day trip I recommend you doing is going to Herculaneum now Herculaneum also was covered by Vesuvius's explosion in 79 AD however this one is much more compact and you really get to see the lives of the people much better because a lot of stuff from Pompeii was actually you know taken to the National Archaeological Museum in Naples and other places but Herculaneum they found more recently and it's actually within a city like it's in the city and they're like oh hey this is like six or seven square blocks of just historic stuff and you go through and you see the homes you see the frescoes in situ like there in the place You're like wow this is really cool so different than seeing it on a wall in a museum and so that's another thing you can do and this one's actually super close it's actually like the first stop on the Circumvesuvia from Naples so you're literally there in like 15 minutes from Naples uh, Garibaldi station it's not Centrale Centrale is above it Garibaldi is the local train station underneath so you have that now we've got the historic stuff out of the way now let's get the shiki shiki stuff out of the way the third day trip you can do from Naples is go to the Amalfi Coast and the Amalfi Coast is probably the most beautiful coastline in Europe. I mean, it's these sheer cliffs going down to these little tiny beaches with these beautiful towns in there that you can go see. Positano is beautiful. You can go to Amalfi. There's there's tons of like beach towns along the way or you can go to Ravello which is like up in the hills but it is just gorgeous it's one of those things that people love going to see just to take in the ambiance of the area however I will tell you the Amalfi Coast is super expensive and if you're gonna get there you might pay, take a private transfer or a tour from Naples or you'll take the maybe you'll come down here to Sorrento and you'll take the vomit bus yeah going between the cities there it's a lot of switchbacks I mean it's cliffs and stuff so switchbacks quick turns small spaces I've been on the vomit bus a number of times and five out of seven times someone has thrown up on the bus while we've been going because it gets really hot when you're here and all that movement uh, it, it doesn't end well for a lot of people okay but don't let that stop you from visiting these little towns it's really really beautiful when you're there okay now next stop on our list is actually right out here in the Bay of Naples you have the Isle of Capri yes the Isle of Capri you know Caprese salad yeah yeah they, 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 there's a place that that's from and that's where you see the Blue Grotto and the Blue Grotto you're not gonna get a ton of time to see it they literally like put you on a little boat you go to a boat to another boat and then you go in real quick and they basically take you three minutes maybe five minutes if there's a long line inside it and then you're out okay so that part's a little disappointing but it is beautiful to see but if you go to Capri it is just such a pretty pretty town on Capri right when you get off the boats but also if you hike up and go to Anna Capri I love going there and eating on the square and you have the ravioli caprese which has got two different cheeses in it and some marjoram and it's just oh it's fantastic like it's worth going to the island just to go eat that when you are there and if you can get some deliciosa uh, de limone anywhere around here that's always good it's a really fantastic lemon dessert when you're here also limoncello you're gonna find that all over the place it's a it's a lemon liqueur is very popular here too I mean not just a not just on the Isle of Capri but anywhere but I will tell you if you're going to go to the Isle of Capri there are ferries that will leave from Naples and there's more ferries that actually leave from here in Sorrento but make sure you get the right ones because they have fast ones that are going to be there in like 20-30 minutes or there could be ones that take two or three hours so make sure you get the right one now the farthest away place from Naples if you're looking for a day trip or farthest place away from here like in Sorrento if you're staying here 
is Paestum. And Paestum is basically, in ancient history, they built some really fantastic temples to check out. Unfortunately, they didn't really check out the environment there, so they built it in swampland. So there was mosquitoes and malaria and all kinds of diseases, so they left them, they just left them. So when you go there, they're in like wonderful condition. You can walk around and hike there. I've been with my parents there a few times. It's really, really gorgeous, but it is the farthest one to go to if you're looking at places to go from Naples. So just have a heads up for that one. Or if you're in Sorrento, that will be kind of like the longest journey to go, but it is worth checking out. So Pompeii and Herculaneum are fantastic. Whichever one you go to, you're not gonna be upset. But the thing is, before you hit the beaches and you hit the Amalfi Coast and those things I'm gonna talk about, and after you've gotten your Roman history out of the way, you need to find a little bit more recent Italian and Naples history and that's actually here in Caserta. So Caserta is a very easy day trip to come out to from Naples. It's about 40 minutes on a regional train. I mean heck you can take the metro out here if you want so it's not that big of a deal to get out here. The thing is here you have the Royal Palace of Caserta. This Baroque palace is incredible. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and you can get tours inside and go see all the beauty inside and the, the rooms and everything and it's just it's just outstanding. But if you want to get that royal decadence of Europe when you're here in Naples, this is the day trip you want to do. Now, we'll go back to Sorrento to talk about more of the uh, coastal treats and day trips you have from Naples. And if you're going to be in Naples, I mean, coming here to Sorrento, Sorrento really is a tourist town. I mean, it's a mega tourist town. Like, there's no restaurant that isn't for tourists because there's so many tourists that are here, whether they're American, whether they're Italian, whether they're from wherever. But it can be a nice little day trip from Naples you want to do here. Or you can make Sorrento your base and explore these same day trips, okay? So I guess this video could be great day trips from Sorrento or Naples because, yes, you could go to Naples with the things I talked about before. But I hope this helps you know some of the things you can do so you can make the Amalfi Coast or Sorrento or Naples a base and so you can spend a week here seeing all these fantastic day trips. So I wish you all the best. I'll say bye from here in Sorrento.